Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. We offer this Mass for John Tarcha. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery, let us in a moment of silence call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor I answer you. On the day of salvation I help you. And I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the, des the desolate heritages saying to the prisoners, come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways, they shall find pasture. On every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall no longer hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Cyan. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus answered the Jews, my father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the son cannot do anything on his own but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the, fa the Son will do also. 
For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out. Those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good. And all the time, the devil is bad. And all the time, at the Beijing conference, there is this line repeated by women activists. What men can do. What men can do. You are right. Today, I want to change that. What men cannot do, women can do better. How about that? When you say what men can do, women can do better, it is a kind of competition and a limitation of what God created the woman to be. I take that again. When you stick to this notion, this idea of the world, it is a limitation of what God created the woman to be. God did not create the woman to compete with a man, or the man to compete with a woman, but created the woman to complement man. In our text from Isaiah chapter 49, Specifically, verse 14 and 15. The word forget in that short text appears four times. And it is used as whether a mother can forget the son of her womb. I take that again. Whether a woman, a mother, can forget the son of her womb. And then there is also the idea of whether God forgets. Now, the word womb, as used in the Hebrew, Rehem, goes back to Exodus chapter 34, verse 6. When the people of Israel committed idolatry by the golden calf, and God revealed himself as merciful. The word used is the Hebrew rehem, which means womb and mercy. Womb and mercy. And that presents the maternal dimension of God. God as a mother, or if you want, 
God as a nursing woman. Now, the womb is the source of life. And so in mercy, what we have done and we deserve to die, God changes that death into life. And that is how motherly God is. The people of Israel had committed idolatry and they deserved to die. But God does not kill them. As a mother with a womb, he turns their death into life. That is mercy. He is full of mercy. And that makes God a mother, a nursing woman, who is full of mercy and full of compassion. That is not about men. It is about women. And so when you want to become like a man, you are actually abandoning your role of giving life even when we deserve death. The second one says, can God forget? And even if a mother, even if a nursing woman can forget, God says, I will not forget. Now that word, saka in Hebrew, also appears, the notion comes from Exodus chapter 2, verse 23 and 24. The people of Israel in, 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 in Egypt. Will God remember us? Will God remember us? Now that forget is where the first exodus, God remembered his people. Again, the exodus has a maternal dimension behind it. When Pharaoh wanted to destroy the, the, the Jews or the Hebrews, the Hebrews in Egypt, first he employed the services of the midwives, women. But we are told the midwives were God-fearing, and so they did not kill the boys. Again, he asked that the boys be thrown into the river Nile. The mother of Moses and her sister found a way out. They will not participate in the killing of the babies. Again, even the daughter of Pharaoh will not even kill the boy found in the, in the river. Remember, the midwives did not. The, the, the mother of Moses and her sister did not. The daughter of Pharaoh did not. When women abandon their role of protecting life and standing for life, man perishes. And that, my dearly beloved, is the reason you cannot be a woman and stand against life. When you stand against life as a woman, humanity perishes. The world perishes. Even the daughter of Pharaoh, who wanted to kill the babies, did not participate in this crime. Shall we rise in prayer? For all Christians, as we continue our Lenten discipleship of prayer, fasting and almsgiving. May we experience anew God's faithfulness and so come to share in the promise of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are preparing to be baptized this Easter, may they have a deeper awareness of God's loving and transforming presence in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer trials of any kind, may Jesus sustain them and grant them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the most vulnerable, especially the unborn, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the Holy Spirit pour out upon us his steadfast love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Jan and for all who have died, may they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that are in the depths of our hearts. 
Let us pray to the Lord. We ask our Mother Mary to continue to intercede for our women, even as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Yes. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us the grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more given thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to that Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, John, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you 
through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in each of the Holy Spirit, all glory and is yours forever and ever. As the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all the stress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and reach in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your love and kindness, that doing what is good in this world, they may reach you the highest good through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Have a wonderful day. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.